All right, guys, here we are on a customization project again. We seem to customize all of our stuff. We're going to make a head gate here for Lil so she can't back out when she feels like it. So we want this to be about six inches wide here, and then down here it's about seven inches wide. So then it'll narrow to six inches to make it just a little bit harder for her to get out. This is oak wood here. What we did is we put a, a nut and bolt through here and here. So this is rounded off, this is rounded off, and it's rounded off on this side. So when she's reaching through and eating in here, there's no way she can cut herself and she can't cut herself on the other side. Yep. So we're gonna put a stop in here that's six inches. We're gonna add a, a two by four here, add a two by four here, and then one that goes the full length. So this can't be pushed this way. And then the stop We'll have a stop on this side as well, so it can't be pushed back this way. So, it's gonna be three stops. One stop to help the boards support this way, one stop to help it support that way, and one stop this way. Then we're gonna add a two by four on hinge that comes and has a, has a stop there, and then another one here. finished up this as you know we have these in and then we put the two two by fours here like my dad was saying earlier put this cross piece on and we have these on hinges here so we push these in they fall down which makes it so they can't move this way at all and back here I don't know if you can see but we have two two by fours on either side and a center one to make sure that these can't come backwards that's about it. So she can't press through yep. because of this stop. Mm -hmm. Can't back out because of this stop. That stops there. Cool. We have a friendly stick bug right beside her front door and it's huge. I don't think I've seen one this big. They are so cool looking. You're not blending in well there, guy. You need a tree or something, huh? I think we need to take them to our garden. What do you think of that, Joseph? I think it's good. <laughs> That's a cool bug, huh? Stick. Caleb's gonna take it to the garden. Mm -hmm. We've heard they're good in the garden. Alright, so one of our goals on this channel is you can go to a lot of channels and see how they do stuff and for the most part, honestly, you're going to see people who have a lot of money who can just go to the store and buy the stuff they need, buy the materials and people, well, just who have a lot of money. We're trying to show how you can do this, not just on the cheap, but being resourceful not just being redneck, but truly being resourceful, using the resources that you have on hand. And this head gate is a fine example. The hinges, the screws, all the scrap wood we had on hand. So we were able to build this head gate, and again, it cost us nothing. So we want to encourage you, don't be daunted. Don't be discouraged by how much stuff costs. Figure out ways around that cost. You can do it.
I'm going to show you the well now and give you some specifics because we had a lot of questions and comments about the well. So, let me fill you in on that. All right, we had a few questions about the well here. Folks want to know about its depth, material, and all this kind of thing. So, I'll just give you the rundown. The full depth of the well is 246 feet. The static water level, that means when they were drilling down, when did they first hit water? It was 73 feet. Uh, the casing is steel casing and it's 86 feet of steel casing. And this well will provide 30 gallons per minute of water. So some of you actually pitched in some finances for this. Thank you so much. From the Smith family to you, thank you. We appreciate you guys so much. And we still, we're researching a solar well pump and simple pump. <clears throat> we're hopefully, uh, Father willing, we're going to be doing both. Nice breeze right now. But sometimes it messes with the mic. So we're in the process of researching with the Burtons right now. If we do a good solar well pump, then it would be enough to supply for our family and theirs. And then we'll do an add-on on the simple pump after the fact. That would be the better order to do things. So we're in that process of researching and looking into it. We will keep you tuned. Yeah, I think that's it for the well. Thank you so much for watching. And we pray with blessing, blessings over you and yours. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And oh, by the way, if you haven't done this yet, go check out our Patreon. We have um, some really cool stuff over there. We have some series up, a bunch of videos, some photo um, clips, all kinds of stuff, huh, Esther Pie? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, whatever you do, do it, do it with, with your, your whole heart. heart. Those squash are as big as you, Jay. And they're, they're heavy, huh? What do you think of those? Almost as tall as you. <laughs> Evening harvest, yep. Zucchini. Zucchini, lemon squash beans, different types of tomatoes and peppers, Some a little bit of rhubarb. The rhubarb's coming back. Big peppers. Yeah.